Hey, what's up everybody? Trapping with Jinx here. This is going to be the very first episode in the fourth season of Trapping with Jinx. Uh, if you're new to the channel, every year about this time of year, it's the first of September, somewhere around late August, first part of September, I always put together what I call goals video. This is going to be my goals video. You're going to also see some of the stuff that I plan on incorporating for this year. Uh, along with some of the stuff that's worked for me last year. Um, and I've got a Moyles shipment that came in. So if you like tax, uh, tannery, if you got some stuff you wanna send off, I'm gonna do a little bit of a review on them. But uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit and I'll show you what I've been up to. And it should be a good video. All right, so usually in the uh, summer months, I try to go fishing and to get that done and I also start putting together my dry dirt so I can do my waxing. Uh, I've got a really good collection of dirt so far. Uh, this, these 20 gallons here are already ready to go. That's going to be my wax dirt. Um, and then I've got one, two, three, about 45 gallons of dry dirt already ready to go. And then I'll need to put that together the same amount for peat moss. So that's where I'm at right now. I'll get probably three bales of peat moss. That's what I use the most of. Um, and I'll dry that out. I like to sift it. And I'll put it in the same buckets as well. And then that will be enough to get me by for most of the season. I do go through a lot of dry dirt. Usually January, December. Uh, that's what I, I use that mostly for. And then these are my wax dirt. Uh, I like to use the wax dirt personally for, this is SJ by the way, he's over here hiding in the corner. Um, I use my my wax dirt uh, for traps that I keep around uh, most of the season. So that's kind of how I do it. Uh, I like to dry my peat moss in case you're new, because um, if you don't, it clumps up during the December portion. So uh, goals, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, I want to get all my wax dirt done personally um, before uh, October so that I can spend most of October scouting so my personal strat is I'm in a better position than I was last year I don't have to buy a lot of equipment I don't have to buy a lot of supplies so uh, I'm really in a better place um, goals so where I'm at I set a goal for 40 coyotes last year I ended up with 16 my personal best is 2021 20, I've got it written down somewhere and I'd like to hit 40 again this year. I think I'm, I'm probably in a really good position to where um, I'm ahead on my dry dirt, I'm ahead on all my materials. Um, I've got some good land situated. I've got a, a better knowledge of my land. Um, my strategy is going to change a little bit differently this year. I think instead of going on the dry ground or the, the bottom ground, this is where I, I went with last year, uh, I struggled with the farmers plowing my stuff under. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll hit the cattle country this year. I'll get bigger properties and I'll maybe work those for a couple weeks. Where I struggle with in Missouri um, is I've got, uh, we've got rolling hills, we've got CRP, we've got uh, beans, we've got, we got corn. We have a lot of raccoons. So early on in the season, I really struggle. I catch a lot of raccoons. And uh, so hopefully I can get into some of cattle country or I can catch the coyotes and um, just work my strategy a little better this year than last year so that's kind of where i'm at maybe 100 uh maybe 100 raccoons which is really easy to attain and then um maybe 25 30 beaver but i really want to hit the coyote numbers maybe three to five bobcat i'd probably say three i, I could catch five pretty easily so three and then uh so really the strategy for me this year is the 40 coyotes again uh, we went out to the Kansas Trap Line a Mastery Course, got some good knowledge out there. And I'll show you some of the materials that I plan on using for this season and do a Moil Mink and Tannery review. So, let's... All right, here's some of the goodies that I came up with this year. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the traps I plan on changing out. Uh, I do, I mean, everybody's kind of like a Ford Chevy when it comes to traps. Um, when I was at Kansas, I noticed what Ed was using that on his line uh, with the... Kendall Omar, Obermeyer, he's his traps. They're a premium type trap. They are expensive, but you know, I think you're getting a better quality. So I ordered a dozen of his four coiled juniors. I really like those. Um, I don't have to dye those. They come straight out of the box. And uh, 
they have all the mods where they're uh, base plated, they're laminated, really good looking trap, they're fast. And then I got his two coil, the two coil junior model. And I plan on using those probably pretty exclusively on some of my private ground. They're a little pricier, they're about $20 a trap, but I, I think I'm gonna like these. They're, they're just, uh, I like the feel about them. Um, I'm gonna try these out this season. So all the stuff that I'm gonna show you in, in my video here, will be in my kit code down below. You should be able to direct link purchase those yourselves if you like. Um, but those two traps uh, through No BS, Lures, Kendall, Obermeyer, I think the, they're about $20 a piece, but they're gonna be a good good type of trap, so. Okay, the first product I wanna show you is this clamp that I got at the Fur Takers National Rondi. Uh, I don't remember who I bought it from, but if I find it, uh, it just kinda clamps onto my table, you can see. And then um, I thought it was a nice little vice grip for maybe my muskrats, something I could use. It's some nice little little thing. I've got three different um, suppliers. I wanted, We're going to bring in um, Keg Creeks this year from Marty Smith out of Iowa. I'm going to start using some of his products. Uh, I've got the Bill Nelson Predator formula here. Uh, I like that one. He's got a horse meat bait and then another one he calls 8-Ball. going to use it. I've got pretty much a late season Magnum Force on here. And then uh, of course we're gonna use the Kansas Trap Line as well with uh, his ship, cheap base Flint Hills late season on that one. Uh, new one, Oklahoma Suicide Sauce. That's uh, Kansas Trap Line products, Ed Schneider. And then uh, Top Dog Predator Bait. A lot of you guys use this one here. We're gonna try that this year. Uh, I'm gonna try and find something that works for me. Of course, gonna use I'll be using uh, Apple Apple Rhodes. Uh, that's Cletus Richards' his, his horse meat base. He's got a, a good coyote gland lure. I usually buy it. And then I'm going to try this new one called Abracadabra. So we're going to try out Keg Creek this year. I'll put that in my kit code down below. We're also going to keep going with uh, some of Kansas Trapline products and Apple Rhodes. Good combination. And we're going to try top dog this year as well these are the kind of the new baits the ones i'm going to promote this year uh i don't know what i'm gonna use for urine but um i'll put that in the link below so i've got a package also from moil mink and tannery might want to see, check that out see what's inside all right this is uh moil mink and tannery you guys try them out they're they've done really good for me we sent off a nice skunk sj caught that uh, we also sent off a nice coyote. It came out really nice and beautiful. Uh, I like the white tipping on it. So we got it out there. And then we got my black beaver back. It came out really nice. You could tell. The I like the bottom of it nice and soft. You can turn that into a craft project if you want. And then uh, we sent a raccoon off. I think that was one of SJ's favorite raccoons he caught and uh, it came out really good and then a muskrat. I haven't had a muskrat yet and uh, that's part of our fur collection so that's what we're So there they all are laying out flat nice black beaver pretty happy with how that turned out so try moil mink and tannery it took uh, several months to get that out but I think they did a good job and they'll be able to pre preserve our catch so if that's kind of what you're looking for in a tannery, if you got one of those first time catches, you want to get it preserved, I do recommend uh, flesh, or skinning it, fleshing it, drying it, and sending it over to Moil Mink Tannery. They do a good job. All right, so here's our video. Today is goals, uh, showing you some new product. I will put that in my Kitco, hopefully down below. That way, if there's something there you like, you should be able to buy that yourselves. I think it's really good for every trapper to sit down before the season starts, start setting aside some sort of a plan of attack. That's what I call that. this kind of a video, is setting goals. I've got another one, it's called Timeline. I'll try and tag it in here as well. That's a really good one for you also to look into. Um, everybody's got their own way about doing things and this is just my way. And hey, you guys are gonna enjoy watching me and SJ over here try to hit our goals for the year right sj yeah so hey i hope you like that um try oil mink and tannery out uh if there's any item you like in, that you saw today I'll, I'll try to put that in my kitco 
so that you can directly purchase that yourself and i'll do that the rest of the season too something you see that you like uh you should be able to purchase that directly yourself so i'm uh jinx and this is my sidekick sj and uh if you're new to the channel make sure to hit subscribe otherwise click the big thumbs up i'm jinx and have a great day and have a great day